Hey friends, I'm Rhiannon from Drawn by Rhiannon and today I am prepping for a pop-up at By the Kilo in Time Out. As you probably know I have been away for most of this year and I usually do lots of events like markets and pop-ups and stuff throughout the year but obviously since I've not been in the country I've not been doing any events this year so this is actually going to be my first event of 2023 which is a little bit nuts seeing as we're like halfway through October which is also nuts how are we halfway through October anyway so what I need to do today is basically prep the stock that I'm going to take, decide what I'm going to take and get it all together. And then I also need to go over sort of the props that I want to take with me and like the kind of layout that I want to do. Um, because, yeah, I'm not entirely sure. I know that I want to like use the props that I've already got for sure, but I just need to kind of set it up, see what's what and yeah it's always a little bit different with a pop-up than from a market stall because at a market stall I just take everything with me, I've got a layout that I do and that's it, pretty simple. But with a pop-up, because I'm not there to sort of take down things that I sell, um, they won't automatically come off the website so I need to one I can't take all the stock with me because if someone odds it off the website I won't have it with me but also if someone did buy something at the pop-up that I only had one of and then I wouldn't know until a few days later when I go and collect it all if someone but then bought it off the website I wouldn't have known that it's sold already so yeah it's a little bit more tricky than just grabbing all my stock and hoping for the best because I can only really take things that I've got multiple of so if it did sell at the pop-up and then someone wanted to buy it off the website it would be fine because I would have like duplicate stock here so yeah just a little bit of admin a little bit of work to do to get it all prepped and ready for setup tomorrow the first thing that I need to do when deciding what stock to take is basically to see what I've got duplicates of. So the easiest way for me to do this, instead of going through all the boxes, is literally just to look on the website and see what items we've got duplicates of. So I'm, I'm not going to take every item, um, but I've decided that I'm going to take the beeswax wraps, the makeup pads and the cleaning wipes. That just makes complete sense because they're all reusable and by the kilo is a plastic free refill shop so it's very much got this like eco angle to it so it just absolutely makes sense to take all the reusable items and um, I was going to take some reusable sponges because they sell pretty well but there's really not that many left like at all so yeah I don't think I'm going to take those to the pop-up this time but I think also I'm going to take the wash bags because they're a really nice little item if people wanting to sort of get a little gift bundle I think that's really nice to have the wash bag with the makeup pads um, but also I've got a lot of wash bags um, I've just been making some right now there's literally some on my sewing table so I'm going to take some of those with me as well and I think I'm also going to take some pencil cases with me because I know I've got some duplicates of those and again that can be a nice little pack to go with the makeup pads um, and then it's just a bit more of a kind of a bit more of a rounded collection so we've got sort of a good chunk of reusable items but some other items as well in case people maybe already got the reusable items or maybe they're not interested and they're looking for more kind of gifty things so I think that's going to be a nice little mix of items there um, so now I'm just going to have a look and make a list of the items that I think I'm going to take with me. gone through all the beeswax wraps and written down which ones I want to take with me. I just need to double check that they're actually all made um, because what is listed on the website is like what I have fabric for um, but they're not technically all made. Some of them are still a roll of fabric in the workshop. And then I have written down the pencil cases and the wash bags that I've got like duplicates of 
but I can't take this many wash bags because they take up too much space. So what I'm going to do, I think I'm going to take probably like 10 wash bags with me. So I think I'm going to just kind of narrow it down and take the wash bags that I don't have the pencil case of. So that I've got like a bigger range of prints to choose from because quite a lot of these are like doubled up. So again, I'm just going to go through the wash bags and double check which ones are made. Um, I know for a fact all the pencil cases are made and um, I don't have any more fabric for those, so that's okay. But yeah, some of the wash bags, again, just sat on a metre of fabric, ready to be made because um, I ordered like five metres of water resistant fabric the other day. So yeah, some of these haven't actually been made yet. So I need to just go through and see what I've got made and yes, I think I'm going to spread the prints like evenly across the wash bags and the pencil cases so that it's not doubling up. So there's a nice range of prints for people to choose from. So now that I've done those, I've just got the makeup pads and the cleaning wipes to go through. And then I'm going to get all the stock out that I've chosen, make sure I do have it all. And then I'm going to head over to the workshop and make a little like setup for it so that I can just make sure everything is going to fit nicely. Not 100% sure how much space I'm going to have, so I just want to have something that can pack down quite small if needed, or, you know, I've always got lots of stuff that I can spread out if I've got a bigger space as well. So yeah, just going to do a sort of like a little mock setup in the workshop, just so we can kind of see how it's all working together. So I've done some like cross-referencing across the products. So I've gone through and picked out the 10 wash bags that I wanted and also I decided that I was going to take 12 pencil cases because on the um, little crate that I put them in you can fit like three across nicely and then like four deep and still see them really nicely. Um, when I do a market stall I have about double that in there and it's not ideal to be honest so I think 12 will be a really good number and um, again I'm gonna test it out so I can see but I have picked out 12 pencil cases that I think will go really nicely with the 12 wash bags with the 10 wash bags sorry so there's a little bit of overlap a couple that I've got in both but it's like the most popular print so I think it just makes sense and then also with the cleaning wipes I've gone for 10 of the cleaning wipes as well basically because I put them in a plate rack and you can fit 10 in the plate rack so I'm going to take two plate racks so that I can have two of each so it just makes sense to just have 10 designs um, and again kind of just gone through with the cleaning wipes against the makeup pads because you know similar kind of product so if there's any overlap that's the ones that I've taken off the cleaning wipes and then with the makeup pads I've gone for 20 designs of these because it fits five across in a crate and I think four like deep will be nice and then my plan is that I'm going to have two of each makeup pad as well and have like one laying flat and one stood up so that if the one stood up sells then there'll be another underneath to replace it with. So that is the plan, we will see how that works out. So what I'm going to do now is just pick all that stock off the shelves, take it into the workshop and see what we can do. disclosure I just managed to drop the camera so I hope this is still working we'll see um so I've got all the like props for the pop-up here um I don't know what the layout's gonna be but basically this is what the items are gonna go in and then I'm thinking the wash bags just put them on the table just however they work out so I'm gonna put the items in here and just make sure it fits make sure it looks nice and stuff and then if it's all working, then I'll pack it up and be ready for tomorrow.
it's Sunday which means it's the end of the pop-up today. I've just got back from by the kilo to collect all my stock. Sadly it wasn't a hugely successful pop-up, I only sold two packs of makeup pads which isn't great but better than nothing. Um, I think it's just it's a little bit of a tricky time yet, it's not quite got to you know the like Christmas present buying season yet and I think maybe some people are kind of thinking about that coming up so right now they're like okay we just need to kind of save money for that but yeah so not the most successful but you just never know how these kind of things are gonna go i do have lots of other events coming up on the run up to christmas so i'll pop a link down below with all the information about those so you can check those out if you are in and around the northeast Thank you so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed this video, if you did it would be lovely if you could give it a like and if you're not subscribed already it would be really nice if you could hit that subscribe button. Click here to subscribe and click here to watch another video, I hope you're all having a lovely day and I'll see you in the next video, bye!